What's up, fellas? So I had guys been asking me, man, how to be smooth. They want to be more smooth, all right? And basically, for all guys that don't know, smooth is when you're able to transition into something without it being awkward, all right? So if you see, if you watch TV, and for any of you guys who watch sports or news or anything like that, if y'all guys ever see how they smoothly segue into the next topic, so they'll, sometimes they'll say something. And speaking of LeBron James, he had 38 points. Like they are, they are transitioning like that, integrated in to where it's a smooth transition or something like that. So that's basically what being smooth is. Well, first off, first thing you guys need to understand about being smooth is, as with most things with women, guys, it's going to boil down to what her interest level is. All right? Just like you being funny, just like you being charming, any of that shit with women, it all comes down to what their interest level is. If she sees you as an 8, 9, or 10, and you say something that comes in like smooth or charming or whatever the case may be, she going to smile and say, oh, you so funny or whatever the case may be. If she sees you as a 2 or 3 and you say that exact same thing, she might say a little snappy remark. Like, excuse me? What did you say? So that's the thing with that, guys. The number one thing with smooth is it doesn't override interest level. All right? You could pretty much probably say the most corniest thing in the history of the world trying to be smooth. But if she sees you as a 9 or a 10, she's probably going to get like some little shy little smile or something like this. And I'm going to tell y'all guys something like this. Go on a date with a girl you know has high interest in you. And try to, before the date, try to think of the most corniest thing you could possibly think of that's a joke. And watch she smile and laugh. All right, so that's the thing with that, guys. Now, being smooth is, so you want to use your surroundings to create conversation. I hate pickup lines. I hate them. They seem unauthentic. They seem like something. They, You know what pickup lines come across to me as? I'm struggling with women, so I've got this pickup lines book. So I can learn some pickup lines. That's why pickup lines, so authentic pickup lines are such a turnoff. It's like I've been struggling with women, so I got this pickup book that got a bunch of pickup lines in it. And so I memorized these to help me with women. You don't want to send off nothing to women and let them uh, figure that you're struggling with women. You always want to present yourself as an alpha male. Corny pickup lines that seem unauthentic. And how does they seem all, all unauthentic? It has nothing to do with what the fuck is going on now. All right? I'm sitting up here eating ice cream, and you come up talking about some goddamn horses. All right? Or some, I've been running through your mind all day. What the, Do I look like I'm fucking jogging? All right? So, yeah, if you would have said that shit, I've been running through your mind all day, and I was on the fucking uh, track field or on the treadmill doing some cardio or something like that, I can see you integrating that in. But if I'm fucking eating ice cream and you come bring your corny ass up talking about some goddamn horses or I've been running through your mind all day or any other corny ass pickup line you could possibly think of, it makes it seem like you're a tryhard. It makes it seem like you struggle with women and you went and got a bunch of pickup lines to help you with women. All right, women are not stupid, guys. I told y'all guys this shit more than once. Women are not stupid, all right? So women know when a guy's running around with pickup lines because he's struggling with women because he's not a natural. All right? He's not naturally good with women, so he don't want to got some corny-ass pickup lines. So if you're going to do some pickup lines, at least make them to what's going on in our situation right now. So, for example... If, let's say the girl is eating ice cream or something like that right there, you could go up and say, gee, did you say something for me? Or something like that. All right, that's just something dealing with the situation. Now, whether that's uh, being smooth or not, it's just going to come off in the woman's interest level. All right? She might bust out laughing if she see you as an 8, 9, or 10. Or she could be offended like, excuse me, I don't buy me an ice cream. You said the exact same thing, but if she sees you as a two or three, she might come off as she's offended. But if she sees you as somebody that she has potential in or somebody she's interested in, she might send a little shy smile or something like that. Or she might bust out laughing if she sees you as a nine or a ten. All right, guys. So it's really no right or wrong answer to anything. Just look at what's going on. If you're going up to a girl at a bar or something like that, 
You can say something like, did you order me a drink too? Something like that. It, that's going on in the situation. That's That does not look premeditated. All right? So it's just like with the police. You know, premeditated murder is worse because you planned it. A premeditated pickup lines are horrible because you planned it. So I could have been any random girl up here and you was going to come up and give me that same corny ass line. But if you come up with something that's in the situation, what's going on right now, all right, if she's ordering a drink or anything like that right there, what I, you know, just look at the situation, guys. It could be something to what she's wearing to what you can smoothly transition into, all right? Uh, if a girl is on a treadmill or something like that right there, you could say something. You could come up to her and say, gee, you sure really know how to run fat. Anything, guys. It, anything that's involved in the situation. Whether it's a smooth transition or anything like that, it's going to depend on what her interest level is. It really don't, it really don't matter. As right, long as you don't, long as that, don't say nothing validating to her or trying to give her some little cheap little compliment or anything like that. You should be good, guys. All right, just think of the fucking situation. All right, I ain't going to walk your fucking hand through every situation. Look at the situation and think, man, how can I transition into this? All right, guys? And then you can introduce yourself. Don't fucking force it. All right, if it ain't nothing going on, then just go up and introduce yourself. All right? So if you don't, if, if, if the girl is sitting on a fucking park bench or something and you just drawing a fucking blank, then just take the south route and go up and introduce yourself. All right, but if if you could think of something real quick, and she's sitting on a bench or something, you could say, "Man, I didn't know the buses run through here." All right, or something like that, right there. Anything, you know, something. It don't matter if it's corny or good, guys. It's all depending on her interest level. If you can't think of nothing, just go up and introduce yourself like a fucking man. All right, but being smooth is just basically being able to transition in and out of any situation. Also on the date, guys. All right, just being able to transition smoothly to another topic or anything, guys. And that's just going to really boil down to your comfort level and her interest level. All right, guys. And I had another guy that wanted to know about taking girls on a second date to the museum or the zoo. So basically, he just wanted to send in his beta male provider audition tape, you know, on a second date. Because that's what this is. All right, guys. So here's the thing on this, guys. Even though he says he makes money, so it wouldn't be a big deal, you don't want to send off the beta male provider ride. So, and what I mean by that, these are the type of dates, guys, that you do when you're trying to impress a chick or you're trying to do these type of things. You don't do this at first. You want a woman to feel like she has to earn these dates. All right? Typically say these dates for after sex or something like that. But before sex, she hasn't earned this yet. Women don't respect guys who do shit like this unless you go into a museum and it's free or something like that. And even then, guys, that's going to send off the little beta man. Guys, do y'all guys think the, the, the guy she's thinking about or chasing takes her to fucking museums? All right? So, guys, you always want to... Listen, doing shit like this, you don't get fucked the same way the guy who disappears for two weeks gets fucked. You get fellatio. You don't get your dick sucked. All right, guys? You won't. Guys, I've been treated like a beta male before, and I've been treated like an alpha male before. And getting treated like an alpha male and getting treated like a beta male is night and fucking day. All right? You, you, everything is, you just treat it different. You like in the VIP session. All right, when you're in a VIP session, you don't wait in lines. You come walk your ass right in the club. You got your spot. You get your alcohol. You don't get that watered down bullshit. It's treated different than the people who sitting outside in line trying to politic their way in the fucking club. Look at my shoes. Look at my jacket. All that bullshit. Look how many girls I bought. That's how you get treated when you treat like a beta male. When you treat it like an alpha male, guys, it's a different feeling. Women pursue you. So what he going to do is, this going to be the dude who has to do all the fucking pursuing. She's not going to care if he come or go or if she ever hear from him again. He's already auditioned to be a beta male. She ain't did shit to earn no fucking museum or zoo. And he already doing it. So already off the top, he's trying to impress her. 
So all, all, off the top, he's putting her up here and he's down here and he's saying, I need to earn you. Let me show you what I can do with what we going to do. All right, look how fun I am. That's all good and dandy after he done fucked because she's earned that, so to speak. All right, you done fucked me real good. You know, so, okay, I could take you to a zoo or a museum if that's what I like to do. If you doing it because that's what she says she likes to do, and then you're still doing it wrong. If you like museums and you generally like going to the zoo, then fucking do it after she done fucked. She done earned it. All right, guys, you don't want to be sending off these beta men. It's going to keep, listen, I don't give a fuck how much money you got. I don't give a fuck if you make a million dollars a year. You want to keep your investment down, all right? That way, if things don't go the way you want to, it's easily pulled out. You don't want to be invested into shit, all right? I don't care how much money you got. If, if a woman ain't cooperating or she in your program, it's easy to pull out if all we done went out for is a couple of drinks a couple of times. Or the second date, like some cheap little uh, TGIF Fridays. Uh, what I do, guys, for the first two dates is about $100. The first date is going to be about $25 to $30. The second date is going to be about $70, $75 at some little like second class restaurant, TGIF Fridays or some shit like that. Or some little wing spot or whatever. It, both of them will be about $100 put together, give or take, right around now. Maybe a little bit more, but typically a red around $100. And I do that because if things ain't going the way I want to, it's easy to pull out because I'm not that invested in there. I have I don't have much skin in the game. Doing all this shit, you're going to have more skin in the game. This is what's going to cause you to want to chase because now you invested. All right? So that's the thing with that, guys. I always want a woman to see you as an alpha male. He already auditioned to be a fucking beta male provider. All right? You always want a woman to see you as an alpha male. You just get treated different, guys. If nothing else, you get fucked and sucked better. Bottom fucking line. All right, guys. All right. But getting back to the first point, guys. Being smooth, a lot of it just going to be what her interest level is. If you say the exact same thing, how she take it is going to be based off of her interest level. Just look at the situation and see how you can integrate yourself in. Do not fucking force it. If you drawing a blank or you can't think of nothing... Just shut the fuck up and go introduce yourself like a fucking man if she been sending choosing signals. All right, guys. That's all that. You ain't going to get no brownie points because you were smooth and none of this bullshit and all this and that. But I know y'all see that shit on the more. Oh, he's smooth and this, that, and the other. Yeah, they forget to you know, put in the part of, yeah, she got high interest level. They, they leave that out by mistake. All right, guys. So all that shit going to basically boil down to what her interest level is. Ain't, you ain't going to, if a woman see you as a two or a three and you go over and say something smooth, and ain't going to be like, oh my God, he fine as fuck. It don't work that way, guys. All right? You ain't going to raise a woman's interest level by being smooth, by being funny, or none of that bullshit. All that's going to boil down to what her interest level is. All right? Like the video. Come, <clears throat> comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holler back.